Welcome to the XAR template channel. This is lesson number 12 for the XAR Web Designer 365 Premium Software. And in this lesson, we're going to talk about a new feature, which in this case is the ability to adjust the vertical alignment of text within your workspace. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go to your toolbar and select the text tool. Once you select the text tool, let's go ahead and draw a uh, text area in our workspace. And then go ahead and hit Control Shift L, and that's going to paste in some filler text. Now in my case, I'm actually going to make a additional copy of this text area. So let's go ahead and go to the toolbar and select the selection tool. And then I'm going to go ahead and right click on this text area and hold that right click key down and drag and hold the control key as I drag to the right. And once you create an additional copy of that text area, let's go ahead and double left click inside of it. And you'll see that at the top of our screen in our info bar, there's a new icon. In this case, the change vertical alignment. And if we left click on that, we'll have three different options. You'll see that we have top alignment, which in this case we won't pick that because it's already to the top of the uh, text area. So let's go ahead and select center. And you'll see in this case it's not perfectly center aligned. So when you run into a situation like this, click in the next blank space after your text area. And you'll see that our blinking red cursor is right after the text area. And if we hit the backspace key, you'll now see that the text area is center aligned. So sometimes you'll have a situation where it's not perfectly aligned and you may have to make minor adjustments. Once you make that adjustment, if we go back to our change vertical alignment button and left click on it and select bottom, you'll see that it aligns it to the bottom. If we click on it again and select center alignment, you'll see that it aligns it to the center. And if we choose top alignment, you'll see that it perfectly aligns it to the top. So let's go ahead and align it to the bottom again. And then for our first text area, let's left click inside that and then select the bottom alignment option. And you'll see that the same problem occurs. So whenever you see a problem that occurs, make a minor adjustment. And then after that, the vertical alignment tool will work perfectly for you. So let's left click after the blank space, hit the backspace key. And in this case, I'm actually going to hit the backspace key for a while. And I'm going to go ahead and delete text. And you'll notice as I remove text, it adjusts it to still stay to the bottom of the text area. And if I add text, you'll see that it stays to the bottom alignment. And if I were to adjust the vertical alignment using the vertical alignment button and select top, you'll see that it aligns it to the top. So this should give you a rough idea of how to use the vertical alignment tool. You can kind of think of creative ways of how to use it to uh, improve your workflow for aligning text within your workspace. And I hope that this video was helpful, and if it was, don't forget to embed, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for future videos. And also, if you're not a part of our Patreon page, make sure you go and check that out and support us. Anyone that supports our uh, channel on YouTube will help us to improve the content and also to bring more frequency of content. In other words, we'll bring more content on a regular basis. Also, if you support us on Patreon, you'll have access to exclusive videos that YouTube viewers won't have access to.